figure that out? It's it's helping the daily functioning. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Take drugs? No. Drink alcohol? Socially, one or two drinks a week. Anybody in the family have heart disease? No. Diabetes? No. Cancer? Stroke? No. And have you had any... Well, let me take that back. My grandmother had a stroke at age 81. Okay. And have you had any recent physical therapy? Recent? Recent? No. Now, other than your lower back, did you injure anything else in the accident? My neck and my left shoulder. Okay. Let's go to that. Let's start with the neck pain. When did it start? It started about 24 hours after the accident. And is it a constant pain or is it a come and go pain? It's a constant pain. Um, is it, is it a, how would you describe that thing? Uh, day to day, it has, I, can't, I don't have full uh, motion in my neck. Um, no, no, I mean like, is it an aching pain, a sharp uh, pain, a burning pain, you know, like we described the other pain? It's a tightness and ache. Tightness and ache. And a, yeah, a, a sharp pain if I turn my, my head. Okay, is that constant or is that come and go? It's low level constant. Pain going down your arm? Uh, from from the neck? No, just pain radiating down the arm. Uh, my left shoulder was injured, and I sometimes have uh, aching pain in my left shoulder. Okay. And um, do you have any? Uh, um, oh, oh, where where do you feel the aching pain? In the front or the shoulder, or back here in the shoulder blade? I would say right around. Right here. Okay. Okay. So. So you do have pain in that, it's that upper arm, uh, upper arm, it's not really the, sh you don't have pain in the shoulder like, like in right? in the front of the yeah. shoulder? Um, it's hard, not on a daily basis, but um, okay. I'm Any kind of numbness in your arm? Yes. Where do you feel that? I feel them right about here, all the way down. Is that constant or is it coming up? Whenever my arm is extended, it starts up Elbow to forearm, you said? About the, a little bit above the elbow. To the what about pins and needles that you feel? Uh, yes. Where do you feel that? Again, the same area. Um, whenever the arm is not down at my side. Okay. Anything make the pain and the neck better? Medication, knee, ice, exercise? Uh, heat and ice, no. Um, some minor relief from stretching, not really yeah. not exercise. Anything make the pain worse? Shoulder checking, driving a car, riding in a car, um, lifting like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the questions I have. Um, do you have any questions so far? So far, no. So the next step is just to have you put on again. You can uh, just take your slacks and shoes off and your socks and then throw them again. All right. And then uh, just put it on. Let me show you. Put it on going forward and then the strings. Open in the back? No, it's a little tied around. All right. Can I use your restroom for a second? Okay.
they can, then that person can use the A to B language. Think about the stuff that Mike says that only one out of a hundred people are injured to pursue. pursue anything. So it makes sense for them not to think yeah. that to do. Exactly. So she pays to not do it. She figured out that at some point they realized, okay, these guys are going to pursue it. They do have an attorney. So that's I don't mind it being open for the draft. Okay. I agree. I agree. It made a business decision and it's always been a constant start. 
business decision. I just say this. This was an name thing? Yeah, it's pretty name payment. And he makes, you know, he definitely makes. He made these probably, you know, I don't think, like I said, $3,500 in the last couple days. Oh, I know, I know. And then, of course, he's got a ton. And they're only going to keep using him if he continues to um, pursue things that are for them. Because if he said, if he, if he was, you know, if he believed the patient and uh, advocated for them, they would not use him. Right? So he's in a bit of a catch-22 himself if he wants to. Good idea though to feed her here. And the stuff around. Yeah. Well, then Well, this is your basic demographic information. I know Dr. Calvin took everything for you. If you can please make sure we have your social security number and make sure all the information is correct and signed in. And then this is your HIPAA rights from us to you. And then this
this is financial responsibility. Sure, can I have a pen? This right there. I see it. I'm sorry. They do need the insurance, though. Can you give me money? They do. I, I, I've talked. They are not going to use it. They're not going to bill anything. But I need my purse, please. Huh? I need my purse, please. What do, you, what do they need the insurance? They won't. I saw something. No, don't eat it. Don't put your germs on it.
fry, so just to give you an idea. These are just all muscles. This is the ball. The socket. Here's your rotator cuff. Tendinosis right there, that kind of darkening, but but it's not torn. And usually that comes from. Uh, you see that? Uh, she has uh, some tendinosis in the rotator cuff, but there's no evidence of uh, tear up here. There's no fracture or dislocation up here. So w what happens is when you get it, when you're raising up your arm with activities. It causes that tendinosis. Yes, sir. That's not something that you have to have surgery for. No, sir, but. Um, this is not something that she's going to require a surgical intervention for, I okay. okay, let's go to the MRI of the. Uh, this one. Cervical spine. Bless you. This is just a cut through the neck. This is your back of your neck. This is the spinal cord and the disc. This is the mouth, the nose, the head. This is the brain, the spinal cord coming down. This is the disc. The uh, physical exam over. Mm -hmm. This is the physical exam over. Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. These are the discs. Here, here, here. There's no rubber. Usually, if you see a rubber disc coming out here from the spinal cord, uh, there's a, a mild uh, degenerative disc at C5, C6. C6, C7 have a nothing rupture or herniated. This is the It's uh, in between this vertebra and the sacrum. It's more sacralized. It's more like a sacral vertebra than it is a lumbar vertebra. And what that does is increase. It changes the mechanics of your spine, and uh, and it tends to wear this disc above. And you can see that's a normal disc. That's an abnormal disc. Okay. Any questions so far? Um, not on the MRI. The MRI of the lumbar spine is dated 2000. She can date it once in the morning. It's just a transitional lumbar vertebrae. recent MRIs that were done? Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions? Uh, well, my question is about my left shoulder. Yeah, the best thing for that is have you ever seen the elastic band? Fair band? It's called a fair band? Yes. Right. Uh, I, I spent a year doing physical therapy and chiropractor twice a week. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, if, if, if you spend
spent a whole year doing something and, and it didn't work, and it's probably not worth doing two years of it. Right. What were you going to ask? Well, actually, I want to go. Uh, so my concern is, my question is, if the exam's over, can we, are we done? Like, yes, can, we, can we go? Yes, sir. So, let's go. It was nice meeting you. Could I get the, uh, the paperwork that you were filling out so I can just look over them myself? Um, just give me a time. Yeah. Diagnosis based on the MRIs before you ever got here, and that's what he was trying to do. So all that stuff that he did in there was just junk. I know, and that's why I, I just feel like. What?
Shannon? Hey Shannon, this is Dash. We just uh, completed the uh, examination. Uh, uh, we're going to probably try to detoxify. Uh, it really speaks either. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just don't like the guy. I, 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 in the end, uh, he did the physical examination. Um, and then he started, uh, he brought out a tape recorder and started showing us MRIs. And, 
uh, basically saying that uh, we should, you know, this is the MRI and, uh, and uh, it, um, you know, you, you, it doesn't look like you need a uh, uh, shoulder surgery or anything like that. So he, it sounded like he already had to make a decision right from the get go before we even, and, and that's the way it is. Uh, but I was, and uh, he asked if we had any questions, Alicia asked a question, I said stop. Uh, are we done with the physical examination? Uh, yes, let's go. Uh, and so that, that was that. Uh, he was going to have a, a, he brought the tape recorder and everything and was going to record us, uh, basically agreeing. The one thing I don't like that happened was that Alicia, uh, Alicia said something to the fact that, uh, you know, the injections, when the injections, uh, that they helped because uh, they, they, uh, the, her words were, um, they helped uh, with some some everyday uh, activity, and he recorded. They helped her every day and, and stopped her right there uh, before she could, you know, really get into an explanation. Yeah, it helped a little bit, but it's not, it's, it's not, you know, it's not awesome. Uh, so he was basically uh, recording for her, uh, for, for, exactly. I record. 